What began at the end of the 18th century with the steam engine is accomplished today with highly specialized processes. And industrial progress continues apace. Industry 4.0 is coming, the fourth industrial revolution. Germany is actively promoting it with a swathe of companies and research bodies, including the Bieber, the Bremen Institute for Production and Logistics. Here, engineers are developing the industry of tomorrow, for example, by optimizing processes supported by the networking of product and machines. At the moment, a malfunction in a centrally controlled production process can lead to considerable losses. If we can get all the various elements of the system to communicate with each other, then we are no longer bound by a fixed sequence. In other words, the inflexible process is abandoned, and we're looking at distributed intelligence and distributed planning. At Bieber, engineers are simulating the assembly of a lamp reflector. If one production node goes down, the product is informed of the situation and looks for an alternative route. When I'm in my car and get stuck in a traffic jam somewhere, I don't call and ask which way to go. I ask my sat-nav, or I use my own knowledge. I can decide how to act in a particular scenario. And it's this idea that we want to integrate in objects on the move. Over the last 10 years, we've done a lot of basic research into how to transfer this way of working, with every product making its own decisions, into the production chain. That basic research is now being put into practice as Industry 4.0 is implemented. Practical implementation in real companies is happening with the support of the German government. What has to happen now is that along with these one-off solutions where companies optimize the technology for their own plants, we get to the point where things can be standardized and normed, and the technology can be seamlessly transferred from one company to another. Industry 4.0 is not going to happen overnight. It's a process of constant development, which may yet last for years, possibly even decades. And it should be done for the sake of all people, so that everybody benefits. If machines become flexible and products become flexible or smart, then we can use this to improve working conditions, to improve people's work-life balance and use it to give employees more freedom. More complex production processes lead to the need for new skill sets. There will be a learning curve for companies and employees. Industry 4.0 is being called a revolution. But a factory without people to run it continues to be just an illusion. <laughs>